collecting the data using Google Forms. We just go to Viewing Sheets and then here, and then we can download the uh, data set in Excel and different formats. So here, after collecting, after taking this data, we can just code it like uh, we're going to assign numbers to uh, labels. Okay. For example, gender, we can leave it encoded, but these ones, I will just uh, highlight them this way. Mm -hmm. And I go to the code book. This is called the code book. Like uh, these questions are the code book. Like, for example, this one, very rarely. So I will just click Control H, replace, and very rarely it's going to be replaced by one, match case, match entire, and replace all. So here we replace all of them. Then I will just go to rarely, and then I will replace it with two. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be coded as two, replace all. Then I will go to what? To sometimes, and I will code it as three. Sometimes, and then code it as three. And then replace all. So the code will be a lot different. Rarely one. Sometimes we can start with zero, like if you want. <clears throat> okay, sometimes, then three. Then we have what? Yeah, often, which is going to be coded as four. Yes. Four. Replace all. Then we have... Uh, what very often which is going to be coded as what as five i don't know why is there a dot here for very often let me see yeah there is a dot so i will just put it as it is and then replace all and here they are. So if you just double check here, you will find that this scale has been already coded. We do the same, yeah, everything. So suppose that you have 1000, you are not going to do that manually. You don't have time actually to. So let me just go back to, okay, to this place. Okay, what, what is it? So here, this one, not typical of me. Yeah, so I'm going to replace it with uh, Control H. Not typical of me. It's going to be coded as one. Not at all typical of me. So one replace all. <coughs> then you have what? Somewhat typical of me is going to be replaced as what? As two. And then replace all. And then we have quite typical of me, which is going to be replaced by three. Quite typical of me is going to be coded as three and replace all. And then we have the other one, which is very typical of me is going to be coded as four. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be coded as four. That's it. Ah, no, no, I coded it as three. So here, I suppose that I make this mistake, I will just click undo, and I will undo it. And then here for three, I will just code it as four. It's okay. So once we have this, 
So I will just close this uh, window and I go to to this format and I will call, call this coded survey on social media addiction, let's say. And click enter. And then I will right click and I will open it with and I will choose the uh, spaces. Open with spaces. Now spaces is going to take some time to open. You know, exactly. As the questions I did the first time, so it's more um, uh, social. The questions? Yeah. Yeah, there are two constructs or two variables in your case. You have the social media and the other one. Yeah. Okay. So you have social media and anxiety. So I will just include the impact of uh, social media yeah, on anxiety. Okay. So here we, we, we once we have the data imported into spaces, we need to keep cleaning it. Like here, we don't need to keep repeating this. So I will just uh, select one sentence like this. Yeah. And then cut and I will go here, replace. This is going to be replaced with nothing like this. This scale is for social media addiction and it is coded. We said from how put it this way. It's coded from very rarely to rarely. So what I do is that I will go back to spaces and I will need to re label it. So I go to the values here for each statement and I will re label it. For example, one is going to be labeled as uh, very rarely. You see? Two is going to be labeled as rarely. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Then I will do the same for three. So three is going to be labeled as what? Uh, yeah, sometimes this is going to be the code or the label assigned to three. Then we have four is going to be, yeah, often, yes. Uh, so this is four, it's often. And then uh, five is very often. Okay, like, uh, very often, okay, here we go. Okay, enter. And what I will just copy this and put it here. Like uh, I will just uh, now I label this. I need to do the same for the other scale. For example, here you please complete the following items. Like from tip, yeah, these ones. These are the ones of anxiety. So let me just clean them like this. Replace and then replace all with nothing like uh, okay replace with nothing space replace all it is happening let me just uh, save this you are coded spaces survey on social media addiction. You know, a lot of technical skills. <laughs> okay, please complete. So what I want to do is just I want to clean this, you know, it's called data cleaning. So this is the phase because the data should be structured. You see, it should be clean. Yeah, that's it. The statements should be cleaned and everything because they are going to appear in the report. Mm -hmm. So I just have to do this uh, like one by one, which is the really mechanical job to do. Although, yeah, but we need to do it. So, so this is the process of data cleaning because data cleaning is very diffi difficult. It, it is very time consuming. To you clean, you need to clean. It's like you, you will leave some rubbish there because those graphs will be visualized and everything. So, 
You need to clean these things. Do you need only the sentence? Yes. The sentence even without those brackets and everything. So I will further do the cleaning. So here those minutes are just wasted because I'm just doing a mechanical task. Like I'm not productive now. Due to some technical issues, I don't know what those technical issues are. But you could see how tedious the task is. Like these are some common problems that you could face. Yeah, it's discouraging. People don't like that. Like I could understand, it's frustrating. And people with the no problem solving, with low problem solving skills or low efficacy, they will just feel discouraged. And that's why, that, that's what explains the achievement uh, difference. Self efficacy, you think you can't do it. Like, well, you can actually do it. You should have resilience, you should have stamina, etc. You see here, now we cleaned them well. Yeah. So here I will just do this. I will just select this and then replace. Still one. I think. Is still one? Okay. I will. I will. I will check. I will check. One. The one, please. No, no. That one does not uh, require any cleaning. Otherwise, I will just close this and I will reopen it. Okay. So label. Now let's see whether it will respond. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, I will do another trick. Like, I will just put it in Excel. I will just create an Excel uh, spreadsheet like this. And I will put them there. And what will happen is that I will just start uh, replacing these. Like, you see? So it's the same idea. I will just do like this and Control H and put it here. Replace with nothing and replace all. Up. You see? Yeah, this is this is problem solving. Like, this is yeah. Before we were just complaining. Now we are working. The time we we spent in complaining, we spent it on. Like, it's, it's yeah, it's frustrating. I couldn't understand this. Yeah. So now I will just get this back, and I will just paste it. When I paste it, I make sure that I don't miss it. Like when I take a test, and here you spend a lot of time. Up, so you spend a lot of time and then when I take a test excellent excellent now I come back here to those values and I will need to label them uh, so one is going to be the label given to what 